What's up guys, this is Les and I wanna thank you first off for checking out my channel and watching this video. If you're here right now, you're trying to figure out how in the world do I start a window cleaning business for under a hundred dollars. I'm the guy that's gonna let you know because I am a practitioner of window cleaning. I do this every single day and I got you. These are the steps forward, let's get into it. So, how do I start a window cleaning business? The tools that I need for under $100. Let me tell you right now, let's figure this out. First thing you're gonna need is a squeegee. This is an 18 inch squeegee. Right now it's two different squeegees. That's why you buy an 18 inch squeegee because you're gonna make a six inch squeegee and then you're gonna make a 12 inch squeegee. You're just gonna cut it. And now you've got two squeegees with one handle that you can interchange. This is gonna be for French windows. These are gonna be for regular flat glass. Sweet, got two squeegees for the price of one. Bowling! <laughs> Next thing we're gonna look at is our applicator. What I specifically want you to get is a 10 inch applicator. Why is that? Because it's cheaper. 10 inch applicator. That's what you use to apply your solution and your water to the window so you can get the squeegee in. All right, next thing we got is a blade. This is a questionable thing to get because if you're just starting out, I don't want you to scratch anybody's windows and I know the customer definitely doesn't want you to scratch their windows. But if you do decide to use this, I do have it on the list. You wanna make sure you go up and then lift off of the glass so you do not scratch the glass on the way down, bringing the debris back down. That is a pro tip, all right? Make sure you don't ruin anybody's glass. All right, so let's take a look at the next thing we got. Next thing we got, huck rags. What in the world is a huck rag? This is a huck rag. When you're working, you're gonna carry three of these at a time. You're gonna have two that are specifically for detailing. This is gonna help you to remove any excess water after you're done squeegeeing, squeegeeing from around the window. And then you got, the third one is going to be for slop. What in the world is slop? Slop is any water that's somewhere that it's not supposed to be other than for your detail. Cool. These are actually ex-surgical rags. Surgical um, places and hospitals use this and then they sell them to companies that clean them and recycle them and sell them to window cleaners. Boom, I got a list of 15 on this list, all right? It's the cheapest one I could find, I got you. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep them greenbacks in your pocket. All right, next thing we got is called a track brush. Now this one here is specifically sold to window cleaners. You don't need this, unnecessary. So I put a brush on the list. I mean, it's just a small brush that you can put inside of your belt and clean tracks, the dust out of the tracks. Cool, I got you. All right, so the next thing we're looking at, this is a squeegee and a applicator holder. It's a window cleaning belt buckle, okay? Not 100% necessary, but very convenient. If you decide you don't wanna use this in order to save yourself some money, just keep your applicator inside of your bucket works just as fine. Cool, and you just attach this right to your belt. It has these little clips that go around your belt and your belt goes right through the loop. Cool, gotcha. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be looking at is the actual belt. Oh, I lied, you lying, man. That's rude. Bam, we got this. What is this? I actually don't know what it's called. I think it's actually called a paint can opener because that's originally what it's used for. But window cleaners use it to take screens out. Why is that? Because you can get in the little small spots to get it out if the screen comes out from the outside of the house or if it comes out on the inside. This makes it a lot easier. If you don't wanna worry about getting one of these or spending money for it, if you got a um, like a bottle opener in your house, you can go ahead and use that. You just need something that has uh, something like that on it to get inside of small places so you can pry it out. So yeah, this is another thing on the list. I got it on the list for you. I think I found it for like four bucks, but um, last time I went, I think Home Depot actually has it for free. So if you wanna take a ride to Home Depot, you might be able to get that. All right, let's see what next we have on the list. Next thing we got, oh, the belt, baby this belt right here thank goodness now this is another thing you can save money on because I have this on the list but if you have a spare belt just use that if you have a firm belt that will not fold because you're gonna have the weight of the equipment on this belt 
I find that a nice firm belt works a lot better than a soft belt. I, that's that's an amateur move, man. I got you. I'm making you pro status. So you get your belt. I got that on the list. It's adjustable. I mean, pretty straightforward. Nothing crazy. But on this belt, get this. This is called a AWPHP. I just got this from Lowe's, but I put it on the list. I was able to find it on Amazon so you can get everything shipped to you at the same time. Now, what you can do, you're going to use this little loop down here. Bam! Hold that like that. Now, you can also take your squeegee. You can pop that in there too. So that's sitting right there. And then you can take your applicator. Booyah. Put that right there. Actually, that the applicator goes in the small one. My bad. I meant track brush, not applicator. And then you take your little paint can opener. They got a little holder right there. Boosh. And then you take your little huff rag. You stuff those right in this pocket. And look at that. You got all your tools sitting right there. Super convenient. Holy smokes. See, you don't gotta buy everything that's marketed to your industry. You can improvise, man. Just use your imagination. You can make some crazy stuff happen. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about saving money and still providing the same exact quality. And that's what I'm trying to give to you. I'm trying to save you some, 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 uh, some stress. It's not worth it. Next thing, we got steel wool. This is a safer option and using the blade. You can also use this to take off heavy debris. That is what it's used for. What you have to make sure is extra, 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 extra fine. I think it's zero times fine. <laughs> zero times five fine steel wool. And this is what you can use to make sure you do not scratch a window. But please, 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 please do not use this on window tent because it will destroy tent and the homeowner will be very upset. Still wool, got this on the list for you. And last, we have our window cleaning bucket. This is a specialty bucket for window cleaners. It's square, so your applicator can go into it easier, but this is another thing you can save money on. If you got a, a five gallon bucket laying around the house, just go ahead and use that. If you got a, a buddy, or go to your mom and dad's house, be like, hey mom, dad, you got a bucket I can use? Take that, or just take it. They won't know. I mean, don't do that. Don't steal, that's not cool. But borrow it and bring it back. And then you can let them know what you did with it if they missed it. Like, hey, by the way, I made some money with this bucket that you had sitting around. How cool would that be? All right, guys, those are my pro tips. And I am going to give you a few more things that are not necessary, but um, can make you seem more professional or do the job a lot better. Ladders, ladders are expensive. In the beginning, that's, that's one of the higher costs I don't suggest you buy a new one, go to a pawn shop and uh, get a used one. That's what I did. You can find some very good quality ones because people trade in uh, ladders pretty often. But if you can't do that, just borrow a ladder from a friend. But like, yo, dude, I got a job this weekend. Can I borrow your ladder? Boom, make it happen. Improvise, think about it, use your imagination. Next thing we got um, shoe covers. If you're going inside of people's houses and you've been outside work and I work in Florida, I get sweaty, there's mud, there's dirt, sand. I feel very uncomfortable walking in people's houses with dirty shoes. So just get some shoe covers, pop those on, or you'll just have to take your shoes off, which is fine. But wear socks because people don't want to see your feet. Not cool. And then uh, gloves. I mean, you're using water all day. If you want to throw some gloves on there to prevent your hands from uh, aging or getting all wrinkly throughout the day and just being kind of gross, Get some gloves, not necessary, but just an option if you wanna look into it. So yes, this list came to $124.91, but if you were to eliminate the belt and the bucket and the blade, it will be under $100 and you can start your window cleaning business this week or whenever these come to your house. I mean, in like two days, unless you wanna go out and buy it yourself, uh, you can get it tomorrow. And then you can start cranking out that money. So. Next, I'm going to tell you how to get $100 to $500 within a weekend. That's going to be my next video, so stay tuned for that so you can use these tools and get the best out of it. As always, guys, thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you got anything from this, any kind of insight, please let me know. If you think you got a better option or a cheaper option or just something else, let the community know. Let me know. I'll add it to the list or just give it, put it in the uh, comments so people can use that 
as another option to uh, start their business. And if you already have a micro business, yo, add this to the list. I'm a window cleaner now. I got all I need for under $100. If you want it to be under $100 or worst case scenario, $124.91. All right, so let's hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. So next time I post some comments, <laughs> post some content, you will be the first to know so you can take this journey with me in becoming better entrepreneurs. Thank you so much, guys. Please, please, please show everyone in your life some love, some appreciation. Let them know that you care because unfortunately, in this world that we live in, our people that we love are not always around. So be positive. Share the love with as many people as possible. And you guys take care. Later.